Today, we're diving into something spicy and exciting, sexting unleashed. Yep, we're talking about all things digital intimacy, so get ready to learn and maybe blush a little. Sexting isn't exactly a new phenomenon. People have been exchanging naughty messages since the days of paper letters. But with the rise of smartphones and constant connectivity, it's easier than ever to heat things up digitally. If you haven't tried sexting, why not give it a shot? It's fun, exciting, and adds some spice to your day. But before you dive in, check out our guide. You'll learn the dos, don'ts, and get helpful tips with examples to make the most of this hot activity. What's sexting? It's basically sending sexy messages to flirt and turn on your partner. You can use explicit language, photos, videos, or recordings to get your message across. Some people do it just for fun, while others see it as part of their alone time. Sexting allows people to explore their desires, fantasies, and boundaries in a safe and consensual way. It can be a fun and exciting form of self-expression, bringing a sense of closeness even when physically apart. Is sexting a good thing? Like any form of intimacy, it depends on how it's approached. Just like any sexual activity, sexting can be considered good or bad, depending on other factors. For example, sexting with a minor is absolutely bad and illegal. It's important to remember to always respect age boundaries and laws. Also, pushing someone to sext with you against their will make sexting bad. Consent is key in any kind of intimate interaction, whether it's online or offline. But here's the thing. When done consensually and respectfully between adults, sexting can actually be a positive experience. It can spice up relationships, build intimacy, and even strengthen trust between partners. Is sexting addictive? It's not as addictive as porn, but let's be real, anything that gives us that rush of excitement can become a problem if we rely on it too much. And sexting is no exception. Think about it, constantly seeking that validation, that thrill, from sexting can lead to an unhealthy dependency. It might start innocently enough, but before you know it, you're reaching for your phone every spare moment, craving that next hit of excitement. But here's the thing, if you're worried that sexting might be taking over your life, it's okay to take a step back. Take a break, disconnect, and reevaluate your priorities. And my friends, you're not alone. Talk to someone you trust about what you're going through. Whether it's a friend, family member, or even a professional, opening up about your concerns can be the first step towards finding balance. Do sex become addictive? Absolutely. But recognizing the signs and taking proactive steps to address it is key to maintaining a healthy relationship with technology and intimacy. Sexting in relationships is pretty common. It can help keep things exciting, especially if you're apart. Just make sure you're both comfortable with it and respect each other's privacy. Is sexting a form of cheating? If you're sexting someone who's not your partner without their consent, then yes, it's cheating. Even though you're not physically doing anything, the emotional and psychological impact can be just as damaging. Trust is the foundation of any relationship, and when that trust is broken, it can be incredibly difficult to rebuild. Sexting behind your partner's back can lead to feelings of betrayal, insecurity, and resentment. But let's not sugarcoat it even if your partner knows about the sexting. It can still be considered cheating if it violates the boundaries of your relationship. Every couple has their own rules and expectations, and it's important to respect them. So, is sexting cheating? It all comes down to consent, communication, and respect. 
If you're unsure about where you stand, have an open and honest conversation with your partner. Trust me, it's better to address the issue head-on than to let it fester and cause more harm down the line. Remember these rules. Rule number one. Get consent. Always make sure that both you and your partner are comfortable and enthusiastic about sexting before diving. Consent is key. Rule number two. Be respectful. Remember to treat your partner with kindness and consideration, both in your words and actions. And lastly, rule number three. Keep things private. What happens between you and your partner should stay between you and your partner. Respect each other's privacy at all times. Not sure how to start? No worries. Start slow and treat it like foreplay. Take your time, build anticipation, and let things unfold naturally. And my friends, if sexting just isn't your thing, that's totally okay too. Just be honest with your partner about it. Communication is key in any relationship. So go ahead, have fun, and remember to stay safe and respectful. Thanks for tuning in. Folks, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and happy sexting.